Hey, it's your girl Kita, and welcome to my channel, More Kita, where style is a notified by your budget, honey. So today's video is all about my must-have accessories for the summer, and the way I'm going to set this video up is going to be in categories. Now, in each of these categories, there are so many different styles and all of them will work perfectly for the summer. However, if I was only able to choose two styles out of each of these categories, these would be the pieces I would reach for to carry me throughout the entire summer season. So I definitely hope this video serves as inspiration for you, but can we also give it up that I just said that whole spiel without being tongue-tied, honey? <laughs> I did that. I did that. Now, before we get into these accessories, I do want to show you the dress that I am currently wearing. This dress is from Old Navy, and the reason I want to show you is because of these cutout details, honey. Look at Old Navy being fast. <laughs> Look at Old Navy being fast, honey, but let's go ahead and get into these accessories. All right, so the first category should be no surprise to anybody, honey, because it is the hat category, and you know I am obsessed with hats, but if I only had to choose two from this particular, any two styles from this particular category, it would definitely be a baseball cap and a sun hat. Now, my favorite baseball cap is from Walmart. You've seen it on the channel plenty of times before. And it's this linen canvas material with a blue and white stripe detail on the inside and a faux leather adjustable strap in the back. This hat is like $5 and you could definitely go ahead and just style it up with a really cute outfit or even just throw it on when you need to run errands and you do not feel like doing your hair. <laughs> That is what it's perfect for. And then the other style that I absolutely love are sun hats. And I own so many different sun hats. So I'm only just going to go ahead and show you just two of them. The first one is from Target. It's a straw hat with a cowboy style because it pinches here in the front. It is in the color ivy or off-white, however you want to call it. And it does feature a rope detail around the brim area. I've had this hat for about a year or so. And I think when I bought it, it was only $20. So definitely affordable. But another sun hat that I absolutely love and it's pretty much my favorite style is this particular hat from Gigi Pip. Now this is a boaters style hat because it does have the flat top and I tell you these are my favorite style sun hat. This hat is also a straw hat in a gorgeous chocolate color and I did get this particular hat from Gigi Pip. Now Gigi Pip is more on the expensive side when it comes to hats but I definitely love this one. This is called the Compri Medium and it does come in a shorter and a larger version. Plus with Gigi Pip, you can actually pick different sizes to fit your head. So they do have like an extra small, 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 medium, medium, large, large, extra large. So you can definitely go ahead and choose. But regardless, I love this. And this is perfect to wear throughout the entire summer. Now the next category is all about the sunglasses. And if I can only pick two styles from this category, it's definitely going to be an aviator style and then some type of a fashion style. Now aviator glasses are timeless and classy. And I did pick these up from TJ Maxx. I purchased these in store, so there's no link available, but you can find so many different affordable aviators everywhere honey and I'm pretty sure you already got a pair girl. <laughs> Now for the fashion style, I am going to go ahead and show you a few different options, but if I was only able to pick one color, it's going to be a black color because I feel like that's going to go with the majority of my outfits. Now these black pair are from Coach and I did get them from the Coach outlet because whenever I can save my coin, honey, I'm going to save my coin. And I like these because these are just a very classic and simple style. I also have these brown sunglasses with the tortoise shell at the bottom that I got from Amazon a few years back. And I grabbed these because these were a dupe for a Celine pair of glasses and we know Celine is not cheap honey so <laughs> to be able to find these was right on time but also if you're somebody which is a bolder style than I am definitely opt for a pop of color um, I don't have too many color glasses so I do have these white ones to show just as an example and I did get these from Target now, the next item may not be a must-have for a lot of people, but for me, it definitely is in order to wear those cute yet impractical summer dresses and summer tops, and that is these adhesive brassieres. Now, let's just be completely honest, honey. All those backless dresses and backless tops, the one shoulder, the off the shoulder, the deep Vs, the ones that have the 50,000 straps that you got to lace up everywhere, those are cute. But if you're like me, when you get home, you're trying to figure out how these girls that have a mind of their own, that hang and swing, not swing, swing, <laughs> in every which direction, how is it gonna work for these little outfits? So that's why these brassy bras have been my saving grace. Now these come in five different shades to match your complexion, and I did get mine in the color caramel or caramel, caramel, caramel. How, which way do you say? Do you say caramel? Do you say caramel? Let me know in the comment box down below. <laughs> 
and they do go up to a size G. The box comes with three pairs and it is approximately $38 a box. Now I do get a size C, D. However, this little piece doesn't cover up my entire boob area. So I do go ahead and purchase this additional strip that's called a little something extra. They're about $12 a box and I use them just for the size, you know, just to kind of help prevent any spillage. So I've been using these for years and they have not filled me yet, honey. I have worn these in 115 degree weather in Vegas through the humidity and the sweat and they did not budge. But as much as I love them, there are a few cons that we need to talk about. So let's just have a chit chat moment. Let's just stop for a second. Let's talk about these cons. Now, the first one is that they're not reusable. So if you do not apply them correctly, you pretty much just waste your money. So make sure when you're putting them on that you're clean, you're dry completely, no moisture and no lotion. Otherwise, they're not going to stay. They're just going to go to waste. And again, you just wasted your money. Now, the second con is as much as they have a strong staying power and they will last all day, they are a beast to get off, honey. <laughs> they are so hard to remove. Me personally, I like to take coconut oil. And what I mean by coconut oil, I mean a lot of coconut oil. It's to the point where I look like I slather it on and I look like I should be in somebody's bodybuilding competition because I am just glistening everywhere. <laughs> you know, it, you need a lot. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you're guaranteed to take some skin off. So definitely just take your time, lather it all up, honey, and get those things off. And the last thing would be the cost per use. Again, they're not reusable. They're $38 and you only get three in a box. So that's probably my only thing. And especially if you're like me using those little strips on the side, that's extra money right there. So just keep that in mind. But regardless, I love them because I don't have to deal with any bra straps. Um, digging into my shoulders. I don't have to deal with the back strap, creating an extra bulge to whatever I got back there already. So Outside of those cons, it's not going to deter me from buying them, but they are definitely a must-have for me to go ahead and wear all those cute little tops in the summer. There's two other items I want to mention that's not really a category, but these are things that I would use every summer and spring. And the first one is this magnetic hat clip. If you're a hat lover like me, then you definitely understand. It's easy just to put on your purse, and then you don't have to carry your hat in your hand when you're not wearing it. And then the other one is an anklet. Now, personally, I wear my jewelry throughout the entire year. The anklet is the only one that I really kind of incorporate into the spring and summer because you know we're wearing sandals and you know all that good jazz so that's just something I wanted to mention but let's talk about this very last category all right so the next category is the purse category and if I only can choose two styles out of this one it would definitely be a tote bag and a cross body now I did go ahead and pick up this French tote from H&M and I know I know I know I know I know <laughs> you are sick of the fringe I'm gonna stop no I'm not stop lying you're not gonna stop I'm not going to stop. I'm going to try to pull back for you. I can't make any promises. I'll try not to bring too much more fringe to the channel. But this particular bag was like $32 or $35. And it is super cute. I also thrifted this Tanger bag from the Goodwill for about $4. And both of them are great for the summer. The reason I opted to choose a tote as one of my two styles is because I can get so many uses out of a tote. I can use it as a regular purse and style it with my everyday outfits. I can use it as a beach or a pool bag. And then I can also use it as a carry-on or like a personal item when I'm traveling on the plane, honey. We need to maximize, right? We want to get the most if we're only picking two. And then for the second one, as I mentioned, it would be a crossbody. And let's be very, very transparent <laughs> as, to why, as to why I would select a crossbody. Now, I love going to festivals and carnivals in the summertime. And to be honest, I need both my hands. I need one for my funnel cake and I need one for that lemonade that comes in like that green, white, and yellow cup. The one they put the sugar and squeeze it and they just, girl... <laughs> That's when that crossbody comes in handy, honey. Now, most of us already own a crossbody, so I'm just going to show you a few of the ones that I own just for inspiration. The first one is this cream color crossbody from Target. It does have a quilted design in the front, and this is perfect when you want to kind of do more of a neutral look. I also have this green Michael Kors bag that I got from TJ Maxx when you want a pop of color. And then if you want something a little smaller, um, I do have this Coach crossbody wallet purse that I got from the outlet when I don't want to have to carry a lot. Okay, so the last category is the shoe category and I'm going to try my hardest to get through this as quickly as possible because I could not agree just on two styles. I actually have three different styles for this one and I feel like I just spit all the way across the room. 
The first style is a pair of sneakers. Now, any style sneakers will be great, but for me personally, my favorite go-to sneakers for the summer are slide-on sneakers. Now, you've seen me style my old ones before, but I finally was able to purchase some new ones, and I purchased both a black and a white pair from DSW, and these are made by Dr. Scholl's. Now, the second style of shoes that I would definitely gravitate towards in the summer is going to be some flat sandals, and uh, I got three that I need to show you. I know I got a subcategory, a category for a category, honey, <laughs> but I do have a subcategory for this particular one, and the first subcategory is like a beachy flip-flop, and I got these from Old Navy the last time I did check online the other day. They were only $3, but these are perfect for just the beach. You can get them wet. You don't have to worry about damaging anything. I love these, especially the ones that have the little strap around the top like I'm always here for an old navy flip-flop the second one is more of an elevated casual flat sandal this will be kind of more of my everyday type of flat sandal and I did get these from Lulu's and then the third one will be more of a dressier flat sandal on those days that you do have to go to an event you want to be a little bit dressier but you are not trying to wear any heels honey and I did get these from Express now in my previous Express video I did mention that I was going to go ahead and send these back and get a bigger size because these size this size does not fit with my cankles I decided to go ahead and give them to my sister and then I'm just going to order me another pair which I already placed the order that I just haven't gotten yet but I placed a size bigger and these are going to go to my sister and, and I really hope I have this conversation with her before this video comes out because if not surprise girl you got some new shoes <laughs> you got a new pair of sandals honey <laughs> and then the last style in the shoe category is definitely a heeled sandal now i have heel sandals that are like three inches three and a half but that's because i already own them any new ones that i've been purchasing honey they have been kitten heels and i am not afraid to say it okay <laughs> I'm not afraid to say that I'd be sporting some kitten heels. Now, the first ones I did pick up from Target. I've had these for over a year now. And the reason I like these is because the heel mimics that straw material that matches a lot of my sun hats. And then I also have these, which are a little bit more dressy from Lulu's, but they're still kitten heels and these are super cute. So yeah, I still need some type of a heel because there's certain outfits that I feel like I need a heel in. So I hope you enjoyed my must-have accessories for the summer. And if you did, please go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Be sure to check out the description box down below. I will leave a link to all the links that I can find. But again, this is to serve for inspiration. And then also leave me a comment, actually two comments. One, let me know if there's any must-have accessories that you need. And I did not mention it in the video. You know, turn me on. And then also, that didn't even sound right. Maybe not say it. <laughs> Scratch that, sorry. <laughs> But the other comment is, let me know, are we calling it caramel or caramel? Which one is it? Caramel, caramel. It's like a burning question I need to know. But if you do want to see more fashion as well as more lifestyle content and, of course, more Keto Honey, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. And I will catch you guys in the next one. It's like, what was the point of even, what was the point of even wearing your natural hair out? Like, what was the point? What was the point? You could have just kept it curly in its natural state or just braided it up. Because this is crazy. It's hot. You put all that work in for nothing. All that work for nothing. Okay. I see how this summer is starting off already.